that long? Um, it will be. We're in Fort Supply. The, um, I can't really show much of it on film. Fort Supply is well known in this area for the prison, which is over there. The reason I stopped was because of this historic cemetery. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me. It's pretty windy and it's right next to a highway. There is a really cool historic site here. I do strongly recommend you come and see um, the old fort. It is open to the public by not so much appointment, but you do have to be, um, have a tour. I believe these are supposed to be hospitals. So there's supposed to be inmates and hospital personnel buried here as well. So they've done a pretty slipshod job of keeping everything mowed. It looks like the way the stones run, the dates are going to be Eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty four. So I wonder why these ones are so nice. So these are probably your poor. That's just a marker. You can see some of them are damaged. Probably hit by the brush hog that went through here. I bet that's a guard house right there. really tore up it's pretty extensive too those look like some oldies over there I just figured I'd walk to the edge and go around you know where Well, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were worried about us walking onto their property through. But I kind of wonder why there's a picnic table over there. No, I would think all this would be fenced. Is that a guard van right there? A lot of these are broken. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Quit being paranoid. Hopefully they don't get angry that I'm filming though. But I'm not showing the prison facility or the inmates. Like 
1970 to 1934. Lee Yowl. Deer fly. Those things feel great when they bite you. Are pretty bad. 1843, died 1903. I always liked these, this style of tombstone because they always look so they always remind me of the wild west they kind of look like that wild west look that was a baby i think 1903 this one was too That one's been repaired. That's an oldie there. Boy, look at that one. This was a wife, 26. Now this one, guys. That is a wicked looking tombstone. You gotta get a picture of that, babe. This person died in 1877. These are some of the oldest ones I've ever seen. Oh, this is an oldie one here, guys. This person died 1877. That is, that's, that is a badass stuff. They tried to reinforce this one here, but it still ended up. This was another Indian. Yeah. Someone probably stole it. Yeah. Here's an Indian scout. So a lot of these guys worked for the Calvary guys. And they moved the soldiers themselves as you saw from the sign out there in 1895. It's a really pretty picture. This is awesome. Thank you. Now you can see some more damaged ones here. If you guys want to read what, what the sign set up by the gate, I'm sure you could pause it. I'm gonna step over here and see if these two say bit. Well, these ones are so old, they're just yep. trashed. Wonder what that's. This looks like it used to be a sign. Oh, the 
where's the band? Mm-hmm. We're not doing anything we're not supposed to, so they don't care. I know, it's just that we're just in such close proximity, I figured they might have something to say. Cannot read it. Nope, too weather. Blue Bryant, I think. Born 1867, died 1902. Did you put that there? No. The last of them? Yeah, I was working my way over there. Yeah. I thought so too. trouble to put flowers on that one. No baby. Our darling baby. 1900 to 1901. 1838. If you guys didn't hear me, this is an active prison. And though this is open to the public, I'm pretty sure they're strict on what you do here. They allow you to grill down there, so this, this must be something that the public can use down here. This one here has been broken. I must have missed it when I first walked in. Okay, so if I understand correctly, the ones that are simple stones on these rows that you see that are overgrown, and I know there's a lot of wind noise and I apologize. But these are all gonna be, if I understand correctly, probably former inmates of the prison facility over here. Mental hospital. Western State Mental Hospital. Well, we all know what that means. Anyway, I just want you to kind of get a look. So you can see this rows of uncut grass here. And there's perfectly spaced headstones all the way to the highway. You can see my car parked over there. So, I mean, we're talking about a lot of people buried here. Yeah. I kind of think it stops at these trees right here. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. The last really nice stone looks like it's right there. So, so I'm just spot checking some of these guys. I wasn't here to catalog the entire cemetery. Did I stop and look at this one already? Nope. I don't think so. Yeah, I saw that. That would be. That's all that online, was it? These ones don't even have a born date. They just have a date that they died. Oh, there's a really fancy one up here. A mausoleum. We're kind of guessing there's like 50 in each row, guys. So.
I'm kind of wondering if the soldiers weren't all buried that way and that's why it's all cleared and then they moved them yeah moved them to Kansas Doctor. Who was the doctor here? Oh, okay. I and I believe he also uh, at the hospital. You mean? Gave, yep. He was a hospital doctor, and I think he even donated money for this type of stuff. Oh, the cemetery. It's a pretty cool place, guys. You might check it out. It's not too far from Forest Supply Lake, so if you like to do the lake thing. Alright, we're going to roll out of the uh, Fort Supply Historic Cemetery.